thinking about a victor down to the wire Whoa. will be picked up. Victor's coming in here, and I do believe that's going to be a mid lane victor. I'd be very surprised to see victor actually go top lane. We'll have to see if they do swap it. That one slipped. Oh, what? <laughs> that one. <laughs> what did you see? I didn't hear that. Um, I wasn't conscious. Hookshot comes in, and now it's double TP from the mid lane. Baker going 1v3, trying to burst down Cubs here. Going to use his own Realm Warp, but isn't going to be able to get out of that one. First Blood goes the way of the Rise Rascal up in top lane. Not able to get Cuz right at the very end there. You can see he's heading down actually to the bottom lane as in we go. Teddy looking for the 1v1. Can he do it? The Shed Ultimate comes in and now the Culling in the face, but Baker trying to get that damage down. Deft is gonna live for now, but not for very much longer as uh, they're gonna hand that kill over to Teddy. Nicely done. They know where their bread is buttered. They want Teddy to carry on the bars <laughs> again to actually eat any more of those plates before the 14 minute mark. Oh boy, good dodge by Lucian, but take a look at the Shen in so much trouble. Teddy. Death just kind of baiting him into that one though as Bong was making its way down. And now Mata in so much trouble as Cuz is here to stay, even gonna use his ultimate <laughs> to make sure 100% that he was going to go down. Bottom lane here. So lots of pings coming down. They want to try to turn this with the Stan United. Here's Pawn into that back line, but they're trying to turn on to Death, who has to flash away. Mata in a lot of trouble, though. They are going to get that one root prison down onto Khan, as he is not going to go down. Chaos Storm being a little bit obnoxious as Pawn once again poking a little bit more forward, but just the one kill will go to the side of white highly as everybody on their side is coming on in cuz bit of a ninja here in the brush is immediately gonna red smite and go on into faker as shen's making his way in too with the room prison is rise to help out as now clit's in a bit of trouble deucin tanking that one up the sun comes in he's gonna flash over the wall but he's gonna go down anyway as another kill is gonna go the way of king's break is the next one spawning which is not all that important now. Oh, they found Clid, but that is a pretty massive Baker coming on in with his own stand united as down goes the Camille, not tanky enough to survive against all of that damage. And now they're on the chase. Trying to get on top of Tucson here as even a flash is gonna come in. They really want that kill as two will go in. And now <laughs> the gang over here of Kingzone are trying to get a kill on top of Mata, but he's not gonna go down and oh boy, that ultimate is spreading, but Teddy does have to flash the safety. Yeah. Can they catch him here as Rascal is going to dodge a lot and try to stand up to them, but absolutely cannot as it's five members. Now the Kling oh. coming on in from Faker. Not going to be enough to take him out, but that's three solid kills going as Their goal is just to get to the item point where the game doesn't matter anymore. Oh boy, now we're going to be bullying Khan as another TP's coming in. Baker not able to cancel his. He's going to be fighting four members. We all know how that fight goes. SKT on the opposite side. Not quite able to rush down any objectives, so just the two kills will go to King. Victor. Oh boy. Not sure how close he is. Baker, Baker's no going flash, down. and even if he had it, I don't think he no. would have lived. No mountains required, say King Zone. We're just going to go for the Baron right away. You can see, they've got a decent amount of damage with the Rise and the Lucian, but it's not going to be enough. This SKT will move over. Cuz does have a two and a half level advantage over Clid, though, as Clid has been very generous. Oh, well, Khan's we found him again as Khan going for a little walk in the jungle. Enjoys his nature walks, but did not enjoy that one as he gets caught out big time right before the mount. So SK Telecom without one of their key champions. Oh, they might be able to get a two for one here as Silas not able to stand up to rise right now. The damage going in onto the Baron, but they're considering moving away from it as they get the inhibitor yeah. here. They they're don't want to so go for a lot of yeah. gold, but the team is going up. And okay, it's their turn. On a war, they don't even care. They're just gonna start it up here. Khan is not in the pit doing damage. There is virtually no Khan. Oh, he's trying Whoa, to now get on top of Pawn, but Whoa, there is Death. the Chaos Storm. Big knock what? up. He's gonna get the kill on the death. He just gets turned on, but an assassination from Pawn. 
who is going to flash to safety. Now Cuz here, all alone, Pawn's clone is going to try, and Cuz, can he actually get away? Looks like he might be able the to get united. Oh boy, wait, look at the base, Rascal. He's taking out those turrets. They're trying to delay all of those backs here. Can he get this turret? Looks like he should be able to. What? Oh, oh, that's going to be able to actually. As oh, but it the was super blocked. Minions. And the super minions helping out, but it's 4v1 and Rai is not able to do it alone. As a nice attempt here, but the turret stays alive. <laughs> Baker having to actually turn around <laughs> yeah. for that one minion. And, well, now that they have Rascal down, it's SKT's turn to start the Baron. But they don't Vaughn have Baker. Here. Vaughn getting into the back line, but that is a gigantic shield. As Cuz goes in, they do a lot of damage. Huge taunt from the side of Tucson. It's going to catch four on the back side, but the GA is down here for Cuz. Zimana and Clint getting extremely low. They're going to get the Baron, I think. Cuz needs to be a fight. hero. Cuz not able to do it on the back side. Clint is going to get that one. And now they're trying to get out with a bunch of recalls. Rise is so. coming. King Zone trying to get into the back side here as Ryze going 1v3. He's going to take out one. Can't quite take out Clint, but he's extremely low. Depth is not going to help out, but the double kill comes in anyway. As the least, they're oh. on the Faker. They have a wave in top lane. Oh, they're, they're going in. Oh, they're thinking about it. Wave pushing in now as Rascal is going to do it. Tucson and Pawn trying to stop the backs, but Faker was able to get back here alongside of Teddy. But is it going to matter oh, as the fight is turning up to Rascal, who goes in alone and just gets blown up with that turret? And can they hold the Nexus turret? Oh, oh, it's so low. It's going to live 57 health. And that turret is a god. It does not well, go they down. just flip the coin. Well, they they're going to go for another pick. They have Pawn in top lane. And it's important to note that Khan does not have teleport. Massive shield as Faker with his death cap trying to turn it here. He's going to steal that one, but Teddy's going to take that one, make it two, as Pawn is not even in the fight. He's pushing the lanes as King Zone. You mentioned Gorilla Warfare. That's exactly what it. they're trying to do. It's all that they can do at this point is the Gorilla Warfare tactics to keep them alive in this game. Oh boy, Clint in a bunch of trouble. No calling to come out here as Rascal trying to go 1v2, but has to be careful. Did he get uh, it? That last stun, okay. Redemption coming on in. Trying to do that damage to Mata, but it's not going to be enough as Mata will tank it up, and they get another Finn kill. is now going to persist once again into the next Baron. Use their teleport advantages, use their mobility to run around the map. Um, SK Telecom can never utilize their objective control. We got... Victor down here as well. Paul, I'm going to flash away from well, this one. We don't want to lose to this again. As, oh. oh. Okay. If that hits, yeah. Tucson probably dies. That's okay. Now we're engaging on to Glid here oh, on the right very side. Split up. They're trying to turn it around here, though. The Cataclysm trying to get on top of everybody. They're on the chase now. That's a wasted chaos storm. Not going to do that much, but Faker getting into the back line is going to get the stun. Oh, the stop monster don't live. live. It's so good. Cuz is going to live, but oh boy. Going in alone there was Rascal. Not sure about that one. Thought the fight was starting as now they're going to start the Baron. Death needs to be a hero. He doesn't seem to know how. Are they going to get in there? There's no... Clint lives again! Oh, Clint! Oh, He's Cus. coming out! Cuz gets in there, but it goes Faker. away to Faker! Somehow, someway, they're going to kill the two of them, too. The Baron will go the way of SKT. And now I think, Khan, you just teleport to the minion wave. You tell LeBlanc that you've had enough against the Victor and Varus. I think that's all she wrote, Valdez. We'll have to wait and see as Faker hopping on in there. Lots of damage comes out from Pawn, and Ryze has respawned. But look at the damage coming out of Khan right now. It's unbelievable. As they catch Ryze on the left side, there it is. Make it look so easy as the culling comes in, too. And that's going to be it. Game number two. Once again, we'll go to SKT as they get the 2-0 lead. And SK Telecom were faltering. So hard in the mid game. Con and Faker constantly being out of position. He did some good work on no, the Silas. I don't think he also I can, got the Baron. I, he he got the Baron one time. I I think you give it again to Teddy. 
I think you give it again to Teddy or you, you end up giving it to Mata. And the reason that I say that is because Khan and Baker were part of the reason they got into the bad position in the first place.